Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We review anything and everything. And today we're going to get into this Wolverine clause. They're called the slash action clause from the X Men 97 line. Now, obviously, the X Men cartoons, as of this video, I just recently released the X Men 97 line, which is a set of cartoons that continues from the X Men animated series from years back in the 90s. So, obviously, there's been a wave of toys that go out with it and this one is actually pretty good i'm going to put the link in the description where you can purchase this on amazon my only negative i'm going to tell you right off the back is that you might think that it comes with two just because wolverine's claws just should be a pair and they come with one so just be mindful of that the price is not bad on it but when you consider that it's just coming with one it's actually half the price of other props that would probably cost twice as much, but come with two pair. For an example, I did a review of the Hulk hands uh, on this channel. Look at that past video for reference. And that costs somewhere around $22, $23. These go for about 12 and some change. You're getting one set of claws. So you might want to right off the back buy purchase double of them, two of them, just so uh, you can have the pair because I definitely think they would be really good. One other thing I want to make note too is I had this sitting on my kid's little tiny table. It wasn't really that hot. There was a day that it got like 80 degrees, but I wouldn't say it was 80 degrees in the house. I don't know why, but this thing started to melt onto the surface. I don't know why it really wasn't that hot. So just be careful how you leave this out or at least don't leave it laying like that because it started sticking to the material. You know, some of those kids' tables have that kind of soft, um, plastic coating over it or whatever the case is or vinyl coating and i don't know why they started to stick to that so you can see here the paint started to kind of rub off so just be mindful of that i want to throw that in right away other than that when you purchase this you attach this piece here it's universal so it can go on this arm or you can switch it around and go that way and there's no aspect about it that seems to favor one side over the other so it's neutral in that regards it's actually really good um the reason why I'm going to say that is because the claws, it says they're seven inches long, but they feel fairly long when you're like in proportion to the whole setup. So they don't feel tiny. In addition to that, the way they come out, and I don't know if I will be able to show this on the video, but you're supposed to swing it down and they shoot out like that. And now you can see here, they do look pretty long. They feel nice, but they go in just simply by pressing inward. So if you have kids and they're playing with them and they poke each other, the, they're going to automatically go back in off of that press. It's not a hard press for them to go back in. Um, so they're safe in that regard. Obviously, you can they can run around slashing things. Kids will probably end up breaking these things before long because I wouldn't say they got a lot of strength to be whacking against things too much. But just the mechanism of how they come out and go back in just is very nice. Um, here you can see the box here. Whole roster of the new X-Men, the X-Men 97. Obviously shows you how to make them come out. You swing them downwards and they come out and you push them inwards as I showed you to retract them. That's really about it. So I'm not going to make a whole long review on this thing. Um, that's really just all it is. Link's going to be in the description below for you to purchase it on Amazon. And yeah, with that said, you guys like, share, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.